Hello everyone. I am back with another video. Um, I've been gone for a little while because I've been kind of working on some personal goals of my own. Um, but Sunday I had a dream um, and God woke me up around three in, uh, in the middle of the night and I knew immediately the dream that I had just had was from God. Um, I don't know if some of you know this, but if you continually wake up at three o'clock in the morning, uh, God's trying to tell you to get up and pray. <laughs> um, and I've woken up quite a few times um, in the three o'clock hour lately. And, you know, sometimes I would go back to sleep because I'm just so tired. Um, I know I have work the next day, but, uh, Sunday night, early Monday morning, I had a dream, and he woke me up, and um, I got up and I prayed about it, and he gave me a little bit of revelation about it, um, but then today, he gave me a little bit more, and he told me to go ahead and make a video on it. I, was, I wasn't even planning on making a video on this. Um, I thought that it was just a dream that uh, for me in my personal life. Um, however, today he gave me some more revelation and told me to go ahead and make a video. So, um, in my dream, I'm driving in my car um, and I look over and on the passenger side, there is this python snake. I don't even know what a python snake looked like, but in my dream, I knew it was a python snake. And it struck my my wrist, and um, and I kind of freaked out a little bit, thinking, "Oh gosh, I have to get this thing out of here as quickly as possible. How am I going to do that?" And um, my wrist started to get numb, just right around the ring around here um, started to get numb from the bite but my hand didn't get numb at all it was just my wrist um, and I grabbed the snake real quick and I rolled down the window and I threw it out and I was really surprised at how easy it was to grab the snake and throw it out um, I had I guess I had imagined that it would be a lot harder for me to get the snake out of my vehicle but it wasn't. I just grabbed it, threw, out, threw it out the window, and then I kept on driving. And um, that's when God woke me up, and he told me to, you know, get up and pray about it. When I got up and prayed about it, he told me that um, the snake represented the python spirit. And um, I had heard that before, um, but... I forgot which spirit that was and what it um, what it was all about. So I looked it up. Python spirit um, talks about, or, or um, it involves uh, a few different things: divination, lies, and um, heaviness. Um, divination is like New Age. Um, palm reading, horoscopes, stuff like that. Um, I knew that didn't apply to me because I don't mess with that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> the other two was lies and heaviness. Uh, I didn't, I couldn't think of anything that, you know, I was dealing, dealing with as far as lies goes, but um, I was feeling a lot of heaviness. Uh, in, the, in the church service that I had been to on Sunday night, it was like almost too hard to even praise and I don't know if you guys have felt that way before but I just stood there and like everyone's praising and it was just so hard for me to get into that spirit of praise like really heavy spirit on me um, so uh, um, I believe that God gave me this dream to show me that you know the Python spirit was um, spirit of heaviness trying to um, keep me from praising to get to my goal, okay? <clears throat> well, um, today, you know, I went back to sleep and um, 
today he gave me a little bit more revelation about the dream and he kind of broke down um, what the different elements of the dream mean. Um, me driving the car uh, represented like being on a path to a destination or being in the progress of um, being in the progress of trying to get to a victory or an end result of something. Um, the python, uh, which I said before, uh, is heaviness, lies, or divination. The fact that the snake um, went for my wrist uh, or my hand, it, he told me that represents the effort that I put into getting to my goal. So in my case, it was me praising. Um, he struck that praise, you know, the effort that I'm trying to put into getting where I need to be to, to get to my victory or my end result, okay? Um, <clears throat> so uh, it can also, you know, be like a project you're working on, um, you know, anything that, that you feel like is being hindered, your efforts are being hindered um, by the enemy, okay? Uh, with either lies, heaviness, or divination. Um, the fact that I, I wanted to get this uh, snake out of my car as quickly as possible um, and me throwing it out the window represented the fact that I, um, you know, recognized the threat and I acted quickly to get it out. And um, he's saying that, that if you act quickly to remove this threat, it won't have a big effect. Um, it won't do any more harm. Uh, however, um, if you wait, it will attack again and it'll do more harm. Um, the fact that the, the wrist was numb, but my hands didn't get numb, um, he told me that was, you know, Satan, his, um, his goal was to make my hands numb so that I wouldn't be able to drive my car and get to where I needed to go. Uh, but the fact that I got the, the snake out of there quickly, I recognized what it was, got it out of there quickly, um, my hands didn't become numb. So it didn't have the effect that uh, the enemy wanted it to have, okay? So I think what he's saying is that um, some of you may be dealing with an attack from the python spirit. And um, so whether it be lies, or a spirit of heaviness, um, or uh, any kind of new age, uh, if you're messing with like horoscopes or um, like astrology or uh, palm reading tarot cards, you know, get, that's not of God. Get it, get it out of your life as quickly as possible because it is full of the enemy. Um, <clears throat> He, he's saying that whatever it is that it's attacking, attacking you is trying to attack you to keep you from getting to your end result, okay? And it's trying to attack the work of your hands. Um, so I'm not sure uh, what it would be for you guys. Me, it was um, that night, if I had applied it to, you know, praising that night, it was, you know, he didn't want me lifting my hands to praise God. Um, and, and God told me that, you know, to get through that attack, you know, when you don't feel like you want to praise, um, to get to the point where you do feel like you want to praise and get over the hump, you have to praise, okay? You don't feel like praising, but you, you praise anyway, and that breaks that spirit of Python off of you, and um, then y your spirit starts to want to praise and want to experience that, um, you know, like you had wanted to in the first place, okay? <clears throat> um, I think that's it. 
Um, I hope this is helpful. You know, whatever you guys are dealing with, take it before the Lord. Uh, this may not be a word for you. Um, <clears throat> he's wanting me to do this video, but it, you know, not every word is for everybody. So please take it to the Lord, ask for confirmation. Um, he's saying, you know, you gotta recognize the attack quickly and get it out quickly so that you it doesn't hinder you further from getting to your destination um, your destination being a goal that you have set um, your victory your healing um, or um, let's see or some kind of end, end result okay um, we all have goals that we want to meet we all have something you know a promise that God has made to you if there's a promise that you're waiting on, you know, um, it, Satan may be trying to attack your work, attack the work of your hands to um, keep you from that promise. So um, there is a, a mention in the Bible about the python spirit. Um, it's in Acts 16, 16 through 18. And you can go ahead and read that on your own. It's about a, a girl that was... Um, was uh, possessed by the Python spirit and Jesus cast it out, or the, sorry, um, it was cast out of her. Um, I guess that's it. So I hope this helped you guys. I know it was kind of all over the place that this has been a completely different kind of word <laughs> than what he usually gives me. So, um, if you want to know more about the spirits, the different kinds of spirits, um, Kay Nash has a really good book. Uh, it's called Discerning the Spirits. Uh, I've read a few of her books uh, in the past. She's, she's wonderful. I'm not affiliated with her at all, but um, she has been like kind of like a... Um, her books have mentored me. Um, and have helped me in in my process so there's there's one called discerning the spirits check it out if you want to know more about the different kinds of spirits out there and i hope you guys have a good evening love you if you need prayer requests please let me know bye